Well, with that being said, Tony, so good. first off, before we even get into the intro, like we were just saying off air, I feel like it's been so long since we've even just con- conversated. Uh, so how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. The sun's in my eyes. I'm going to I'm going to throw a hat on real quick. Yeah. OK, there we go. Oh, um, actually, perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll vamp. I'll vamp while you're doing whatever you're doing. I've been good. You know, um, we had uh, we had a long weekend because of the, um, you know, Dr. King's birthday on Monday. So last week was my first week back to school. Um, kind of a gentle start. You know, we had class all three days, but you know, the first week is just kind of feeling feeling everybody out, getting getting back into the swing of things. And then the second week, you know, we didn't have class on Monday. So really, really easing into the new year in terms of work. Mm-hmm. So I'm good. I'm good. It was another good day in class. Did you guys get the uh, winter weather, winter advisory report? Did you guys get the freezing rain too? Um, we no, not really. We got, I mean, the temperature is extreme. It's extremely cold. You know, it's single digits, negative wind chill. Yeah. Um, we had, I think yesterday or maybe Monday, it was, um, like in the teens. So not bad, pretty regular in terms of like extreme Midwest winter. But if this wasn't the first big chill of the season, I think people, it would have just been totally regular, you know, business as usual, but the first time it snows or it gets really cold, people freak out, even though, you know, if you've, you've lived here your whole life, this is like a very normal, like I can see the grass on the lawn right now. This is that's, nothing crazy. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, you know, it's cold. It's not like, it's not like it's not cold, but it's not like. It's definitely cold. <laughs> but it's not like, uh, on a, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think it's a shock. Like you said, like uh, yeah. if you if you've lived in the I don't Midwest, want to be dismissive, like, you know, I don't want to be dismissive, but like I, this is it happens every year. The top five craziest January I've ever lived through in the Midwest, you know, like, Def- definitely not that much snow. Um, yeah, but yeah, now I know I know other other areas really really did get killed. I know Western Michigan, Northern Michigan, a lot of the East Coast. Even down south, they got some snow. So I'm not I'm not saying it's nothing. My aunt uh, sent me a video, and I think they got, like, over a foot, over a foot of snow, like, out in Saginaw. Damn. Which is crazy. Yeah. I wish we got some yeah. snow. We just got, like... I mean, we were we were supposed to go to Michigan over the, over the holiday. And, yeah, your uh, trip got canceled. Well, I mean, my you trip didn't get canceled. My brother and his family were flying in from Washington, D.C., and at the airport, they shout were telling him, like, they, yeah, shout out, shout out to Steve. They were telling him, like, oh, there's 20 inches of snow on the ground at Metro Detroit Airport. My aunt and uncle live on Middle Belt Road, two miles from the airport. She looked out her window and said, maybe no. three inches. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, yeah. that was like some airline meddling. But yeah, so they didn't go. So we ended up not going up either. So, well, I, I, you know, I, this is going to betray my identity as an Ohioan, but I was really looking forward to being back in Michigan, obviously to see my family, but basically the best parts of my adult life started there, you know, like you're you're almost a traitor to the cause because you, Michigan has such a hold in your heart. Well, I mean, I don't want to get too sentimental on the pod, but like I, I'm at you at Michigan, literally at you of Michigan. Hey, so get sentimental on Maine. That's I'm what not, this is for. Listen, I'm not, you won't catch me dead in this area code saying go blue, but I'm also not crossing out my M's. <laughs> so I was bummed. I was bummed that we couldn't get up there. I was looking forward to it, but uh, you know, we'll get up there. We'll get up there maybe in February when the weather is more stable. Yeah. Yeah, how about See, Chicago? Is it is it crazy? It must not be because I'm not seeing anything on social media for my Chicago family. Dude. And by family, I mean like you and two other people who I'm kind of friends with. I mean, you're not going to see anything on social media from me except for, except for these. Uh, but nah, I mean it was it was like, I mean, I'm supposed to go into the office two days a week, and like they told us stay home the rest of the week because it was like. I like went and took the garbage out two days ago and it was like my hand. I, I didn't take my gloves cause it's literally just up, sure. down, downstairs and like through the alley. 
and I was like, my hands hurt coming back. So it's like, Dang. it was, and I mean, like all of our windows in our in our house are were all frozen shut for the past three four days. So like it was that cold. Like I was yeah. I was bundled up right here because I have the window right here. So like I feel like the connection between the window and like the outside it felt like it was paper thin um you want so a pro like, tip now that i'm a dad i know this kind of stuff you know what you can do for that if you're gonna say the rolled up uh towels underneath the windowsill i already did it <laughs> that is what i was gonna say bro i Shout was going to harold i was harold going st through harold stays on the rolled up towel i, I was going through uh old show and tell stuff and one of the first episodes we were talking about your basement throwback to the old basement and dude that like that not, gave me not, chills not throwback to the old basement bro <laughs> that gave me the shutter i was like oh, i'm so glad i don't have to deal with frozen pipes uh flooded well, you know, basement. We never famously we never had a frozen pipe it was just that damn flooding in the fall <laughs> all fall we got flooded out of that basement the weekend we got the keys water came up in that basement that's horrible that's like hey, the one thing that like to this day i'm like i don't i want a basement but i don't want a basement because every homeowner that i've talked like legit homeowner they're like <laughs> oh my god the basement is the worst part and i mean Bro. even at my parents house like the basements are tough and you've only ever lived in the midwest which i say is something i'm jealous of that's not a diss but like in the midwest especially dude the basement that's the problem flooding mold freezing those are things that kind of uniquely happen to that's, like us yeah that's yeah. but you know what i'll take that and i'll take the cold over tornadoes yes uh wildfire i, yes. I like Keep we were just going. talking about this this uh what are your thoughts on earthquakes earthquakes zero Pass, out of ten dude. not a fan Pass. sharknadoes uh, what about to tsunamis and hurricanes you don't want those you don't want those in your yard no yeah way, bro give me and a sheet know, give me a sheet of ice inches I, thick yeah my, my cousin lived in michigan his entire life and him, his wife and their 18 month old daughter just moved cool. cross country. They road tripped it, which I think was so, so cool. They that's road rad. tripped what a, it. And what a great age too. That's cool. 18 months. That's a cool age for a road trip. That's so sick. She was just bopping around the RV in the back while. Uh, nice. <laughs> um, Where'd they go? Cali? Somewhere in they, California? They went to San Diego. I think cool. San Diego. And he well, actually, said, not cool. Hot. It'll be hot all the time. They're going to love that for the well, first time. Before they left, he was like, dude, like, I'm so sick. Like, I, I can't handle any more winters. And he's like, he's not much older than me. And I was like, I don't know. I kind of love, I kind of like, you know, I dig the, the snow. I love the winter. Yeah. And he's like, I, I need to be in California. And he sent me a text like two days, uh, maybe like last week. It was like, when you're sick of the cold, come out here. But it was before the the um winter advisory and i was like it's not that bad and then I, just his text was laughing at me while i'm like freezing inside with blankets on bundled yeah, up you like have to build the cats a little hut so they don't get pneumonia <laughs> i got my cozy <gasps> oh my gosh i haven't even shook that's what, whatever we're doing for show until next week, that's what I'm bringing. But anyways, cool. to get it cracking, finally, you know, a little pre-show. <laughs> I like a little pre-show banter, P-show P B. I love the PSB. A little the PSB. P the not PSB. a P PSA? No, no, no. Not on this program. Nah. PSB. You keep your PSAs. We got our P-show. Yeah, you keep your public service announcement. We have our pre-show banter. And our pre-show Bev. I actually did fully have a pre-show Bev. I wanted to bring it and talk about it, but the aforementioned cold, you know, I come from the library, which is on the other side of campus. We're a small campus. I come but here's from the, the library. Deal, I wasn't going to carry a cold can of soda outside today. So I did crack the top. I did already have my show beverage. I can't wait to talk about it, but why don't you pop yours and tell us what we're working with? Wow. The absolute disrespect you show this show. 
you know what, dog? Be outside today and then talk to me. I'm Literally, inside be today. today and talk to me. I'm yeah. inside today. Walk a dog at 5 a.m. today. And Absolutely. Then talk to me. Absolutely not. Cats for the win. I'm going to eat a carrot. I was going to be polite and not eat, but now I'm going to eat one carrot just to goof up the audio. And with that being said, welcome to Show and Tell. This is the show where I bullshit with my homies to my whichever. Actually, you no, once you're... again said Show and Tell. Is this not missing the homies? Did I? Damn. Okay. We're taking it again. Welcome to. I, I, you know, I was wondering why this Show and Tell. You have to be mean to me. You threw yourself off with your, with your meanness. Uh, Welcome to Missing the Homies. It's the show where Antonio tricks his homies into spending time with him on a podcast. And, see how easy that is, Twan? And it's been going for three years strong. Cracking a bev. Speaking of strong, what flavor of liquid death do you have today? The pre changed. Uh, Dead don't, billionaire. Don't say it. They're gonna sue us if you say the name of that. Dead billionaire. That's what, I'm, dude, I'm, how sick would it be to get sued by like Arnold Palmer? Ah, oh, dude, that would rule. Well, as, as long as it's not a John Daly, because isn't John Daly aggressive? He wouldn't sue you. He would just come beat your ass. <laughs> he looks like a wrestler. He is a golfer though. So um, I saw while a you're sipping, while you're sipping your LD, I'll I'll say what I had. Um, Aldi has its own soda. Ooh, okay. And you know. Er- Aldi is good, dude. Aldi is having a resurgence right now. People are finally coming around on Aldi. I've never been to Aldi. Actually, well, it's I lie. great. I lie. I've been there once, but I thought the yeah, quarter Aldi for the Aldi looks like a crappy, like you know, little like dollar store, but for food, Aldi is amazing. They're 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 like Aldi brand stuff kicks ass, except for their soda, which is borderline undrinkably bad. Oh, their, no. their name brand, the Aldi brand is called Summit. And the logo is cool. The logo looks like a heavy metal. I wish I, I don't want to mess up my setup, so I'm not going to pull it up on the screen. But I wish... the logo looks like a heavy metal like band sticker because it's like S-U-M-M-I-T in like big, thick block letters. It looks sick. And uh, like the, the old English. No, well, no, it's like block letters. It looks oh, kind of okay. like university font, like the block M. But Summit Cola, and it was like it was like Aldi brand Diet Coke, and it tasted horrid. You know what it tasted kind of like? It tasted like um, uh, glue, like when you're licking envelopes. That's what it tasted like. Oh, I see it. Oh, okay, I see the Summit. Oh, Isn't wait. that sick? Isn't that logo sick? <laughs> wait, am I seeing it? No, I'm just seeing. I I looked up Aldi brand Diet Coke, and I'm just seeing. Diet Coke, Shasta Cola. Do you know what Shasta Cola is? Shasta is another. That's not. That's its own brand. Yeah, Ugh, Shasta is a brand. Not seeing it. Anyways, I'll look. Well, it whatever. Up. I'll get a. I'll get a picture and send it. You can. So would you, so would you recommend Aldi? No, I would recommend all other kinds of Aldi stuff, but I can't in good faith recommend their Diet Coke. It sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. so not the Bevs. Stay away from the Bevs at all. Well, no, because they have really good beer. Mm. Is and it wine, Aldi, actually. Is it Aldi, Aldi brand beer? Also very good, but their their Diet Coke sucked. Is it Aldi brand beer? Yeah, I mean, they you know they give it funny names, kind of like Trader Joe's does well, with well, their I, beer. I was like, going to say, because Trader Joe's and Aldi, I think they were brothers. Like the owners of Aldi and weird. Trader Joe's. I did not know that. And then they split. So Joe and tim ollie yeah or whatever yeah (laughs) tim ollie also invented the ollie yeah dude yeah yeah famous skater he was like a protege of tony hawk i think yeah tony hawk was actually the the angel investor to all these that makes sense because he's the richest skateboarder that's got to be true right could there be like a richer skateboarder it's either him or rob deerdeck i don't know i don't know what the skateboarding scene is right now yeah. Oh, he started DC Shoes. And I mean, the star of Robin Big. Oh, we know him in our household as Ridiculousness. Really? Yeah. Shelly a big Ridiculousness fan? 
Yeah, well, you know what? Everybody in the Ripley residence is a big fan of a clip show. Like, Ridiculousness, I, America's Funniest Home Videos. I was going to say, America's Home Videos. Enough, we can't get enough of the clip shows. And I you know what? Ben, I know every parent talks about, oh, my kid is so smart, blah, 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 blah. Ben knows when it's Sunday night, because in the <laughs> evening, he'll come running in, point at the TV and go, kids, kids, kids. And what he means is he wants to watch America's Funniest Home Video specifically to see videos with kids in them. Oh, he wants the kid compilations of the kids falling off the, the bikes. He likes the kid compilations. He likes the dog one, too, a lot. But um, he tries to reenact a lot of the dog stuff, which Desi and Poppy obviously don't like. They hate. Is America's Funniest Home Video still going? Or is it yeah, man. old? Yeah, you I know, re- Carlton is the host. Really? I was going to say, and I remember when you uh, hear- Danny Tanner was, was the host. Dude, RIP, man. Rest well, King. You want to hear an amazing fact and then immediately have that fact ruined? about America's Funniest Home Video. Yes, I've been ruining people's lives with facts lately. I had a student last semester. This is going to shake you almost as hard as the Caleb Heron exits Keeping Records news. I had a kid last semester. His name was Brock, uh, like the gym leader in Pokemon. I was going to say tight name, tight name. And um, yeah, he was was cool. He was a cool kid. And uh, he, um, one day in class, just kind of casually and out of nowhere, he was like, in fact, it was literally the day before Thanksgiving break. He was like, I've been on America's Home So there home wasn't videos. time to follow up. He No, literally, he was like, yeah, I was on America's Funniest Home Videos when I was a kid. Got a thousand bucks for it. No big deal. Whoa. And then it was and and it was like, OK, have a great Thanksgiving Class break. Class is over. Rock, you know, and then like we got and back you're just from, thinking about it the whole and that was break. all I thought about during Thanksgiving. <laughs> and like we traveled that holiday. We drove out to Washington to see Steve. And I, I was like, you know, half of my eye was paying attention to like driving across three states. But 99% of this gray matter was like, Let's must not. ask Brock about America's Funniest Home Videos. What so, so we did video? So we asked about it, like the first thing we did in class when we got back from the holiday was like, Brock, immediately show us the video from America's Funniest Home Video. <laughs> and you know and he's he got had, it. He had the video, like of course not he does. from the TV show. He had the video and he like, we watched it, we played it. And I was like, do you have a clip from the show? He's like, yeah. And he he like he like pulled it up and we looked at it and it was just like you could see him and his dad in the audience and you know like um it was it was still Carlton was the host and you know Carlton was like well ha, ha, how crazy is that or you know or whatever I can't do like a Carlton impression and the video it was Brock as like a little kid like a thirteen or fourteen year old like playing on his phone in the car and whoever was filming him like screams and it startles him and his phone flies out of the car. <laughs> That's the clip. So we're watching that. You know, I'm like, I'm like telling my in-laws, like, yo, Harold and Shelly, like I one of my students was on the show. How crazy is that? That's we cool. literally Antonio, That's so we, cool. During the writer's strike or the TV strike this yeah. summer, they were airing reruns of America's Funniest Home Video. We saw his episode on TV. Now listen, I told you I was gonna ruin it. I was ready? gonna say, pull the rug, pull the ready rug. For me to ruin it? it was his twin. Bro, no, it wasn't his twin. Brock said. Yeah, my dad and I faked it and tried to win. <gasps> so oh. the video was fake. He said I wasn't even using the phone. That was my old iPhone. It wasn't even turned on. Wow. Doesn't that suck? TV magic is fake. Coming yeah. from somebody who coming coming from somebody you who literally in the are industry. a TV production guy. You're like, it's fake? TV's fake. TV's yeah, fake. Dude, the movies are gonna, fake. Next thing you're gonna tell me the last of a season one wasn't a documentary. Dude. It's a, it's, yeah, I almost got Renee to play uh, The Last of Us 2 with me. Dude, I was, that's crazy. I was like, hey, do you want to be, <laughs> I was like, hey, do you want to be the most depressed you've ever been? Yeah, hey, remember <laughs> how fun uh, It Takes Two was? <laughs> want to have the total opposite of that? Want to have the worst time of your life? And she was like, I'd be down, I'd be down to play it with you. I was like, oh. That reminds me. Did you see that they they did The Last of Us Two? And by the way, for those Melanie, if you're watching along, this is exactly what Show and Tell was. We'll eventually get to our thing, Melanie. Maybe. You're not missing out. Shout out, Bill. Um, Bill. <laughs> uh, they're doing not. They're doing. I think it's already out. But The Last of Us Two remastered, and they added like the extra. Did you see it? It comes out this week. Yeah. Oh, sick. Are you going to you know hop on? I have no desire in the world to play that game again. But the However, rogue light mode. They added that, that rogue light mode, and that sounds really interesting to me. That might be a game that I pick up 
deeply on sale in like two years. Dude, I was like, I saw that they did a remaster. I was like, that game just came out. Why are they, what is the point of this? And then I watched longer in the video and it's like, oh, new roguelite mode. You can swap out all the characters. You can, uh, I think there's extra scenes in all of that. Like there's, there's yeah. extra well, stuff. I mean, you know, I just not to defend like a multinational corporation, but you know, that game came out at the end of the PS4's life cycle. Yeah. And it it pushed the PS4. I know? feel like it was beautiful on the PS4. That's what I was like. No, no, I'm not yeah, I'm not knocking it, but I'm just saying, like, you know, here's this game that is at the absolute frontier the absolute end of what that machine was capable of. And I don't, I don't understand other than people want to like brag about being brokies in the form of complaining on video game website comment sections that it's like, yeah, that game was held back by being on the PS4 yeah. and the franchise is immensely popular right now. And like the most PS fives that ever sold sold last year why wouldn't they want more people to play it in a way that better represents the vision of the game? Like, I don't, you know, and that's, I'm, that not was... gonna buy, I'm not going to buy it. So I guess in that sense, I'm a hater too, but like, I'm not pissed off that they re, you know, like, yeah, they improved it. Well, I, I saw that if you have the PS4 version, it's a $10 add on. So I was like, yeah. bro, for $10, you're getting a whole nother game. Plus... I actually should figure out, how that works because i bought it i did own that game i had it on disc and then mm -hmm. i sold it so i wonder if i'd be able to trick it into giving me the discount i wonder because if you have the because i mean when you put the disc in well but i don't have the disc anymore right right, right. but when you put the disc in initially you have to download all of the stuff so i mean if you still have it so it knows i had it I bet there's a deal where the disc has to be in the drive to like authenticate it or some or some you know some. Something I'll let like you know. That. I'll let you know because I'll try it because I'm. You don't have a PS5 though, right? No, but I have a PS4. I don't think they'll. Isn't it only for PS5 the remaster? No. Shut up. No, because that's why I. That's okay, why that's I. That's stupid. That that's why stupid. I freaked out. I was like, yeah, because. It, now with the PS5 being what years into three years into its cycle, like four, four years, in November. they're like starting to like, I mean, obviously they were going to do PS5 exclusives, but now they're like starting to like, now I have to check if a game is coming out, if it's, they're going to release it on PS4 now. And at the very end of that video, they're like, and if you have the PS4 version, it's a $10 add on. I was like, yes, I, I think. Well, okay. I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pee in your yeah. suit. Yeah. Don't, I think, don't, I think don't AFV me right now. Okay. I won't, I won't brock you. <laughs> yeah. Don't brock. I'm me. not going to brock you. We will, we, we will, will brock, brock you. you. <laughs> we will brock you, Danny Tanner. So, uh, speaking of show and tell, <laughs> Melanie, Melanie, I know that's well, what you can. Can I bring it full circle? Of course. Melanie. Please, please. So you were talking about the basement. We had a we had the first official and serious conversation about show and tell while you were mopping up your basement. While I was mopping the basement, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, I was playing The Last of Us Part Two when we recorded the original episodes. Yes, like the pre Ben episode. I think I was our... in the middle of Part Two. I, I I have it right here. I'm pretty sure our second. It's either our second or our first episode. Was about The Last of Us. First episode is video games. Second is The Last of Us 2. Dude, I remember that day, man. Miss Rachel's mom came up. Her and Rachel were like out shopping for baby stuff. And I was home with just Desi. And I remember I walked Desi right before we recorded. And I can tell you what I was listening to. I was listening to Mastodon's album that came out that year, like on title. While walking Desi around the neighborhood, getting ready to podcast. I like remember what? that day, like. It was yesterday, what a man. like timestamp! Yeah, dude, crazy. That was wow. Anyway, January twenty twenty two. Whoa, crazy. Anyways, from the very inception to now, our prompts were 
um, well, my prompt was something that has survived every move, and yours was right, your favorite I, thing in I your collection. I talked about my White Stripes poster hanging out just yeah. out of frame. Which I brought two things for mine because I have one that I'm like kind of sure and one that I know for a fact has survived every move. Cool. Um, well, I can do I can do mine on long mode or short mode. So do you want to kick us off today? Yeah, because uh, I mean, we're about to we've we've ran through a good amount of time with our PSB. <laughs> OK, so the two things I brought. Uh, I'll start with the one that I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, actually, no, I'll start with the one that I'm a hundred percent sure. So do the runner up first, do the runner up first. Okay. The, well, the, the reason, the reason I say that is because the runner up is way more special than the thing that has survived every, All right. it's your, Hey, it's your show. You do it how you want. Hey, show and tell is our show, which this is missing the homies. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> so true bill can tell you that in the comments bro yeah i'm gonna get flamed for not knowing yeah i never know so what i brought to show and tell today that has survived every single move is my pokemon the first movie on vhs dude in the padded <laughs> in the padded box man. in the box that's this probably worth some money on ebay Dude, it probably is, but like includes never before footage. That's so funny. This movie, I remember like seeing it in theaters with my cousins and like my uncle. I remember my my uncles took us and I remember like crying at the scenes where Ash gets turned to rock. And I was just like 2001. I'm like, what? Because this this came out in two thousand one. I'm like four, so how old was I in two thousand one? Two thousand one, you were eleven. <laughs> also, another great, insanely amazing bit from well, not a bit actually. <laughs> no, it was like the whole episode. <laughs> um. So yeah, Pokemon <laughs> the first movie, VHS. Uh, Nay really like went in on me when we moved here. She was like, "Why do you have VHSs?" I was like, "You know, just for the bems." Why, do you like, why don't you love me? Is how I would reply. <laughs> so this, but this VHS is not the one that I wish I had. I wish I would have kept or. I wish I would have kept my Shrek VHS because in all honesty, that is the VHS. I remember it popping out and just putting it right back in. Like I, re I, that is where my Shrek love started. So Shrek is, love, dude. Shrek is life. Dude, Shrek is love. Can I ask a clarifying question? Of course. You have a VCR in your house? I don't. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I have a VCR in my house. Do you want to know where it's from? It's from, uh, it's, it's probably from, uh, you know, uh Cir it. Circuit City, circa 2019. Nope. Where? Nope. You and a couple of the other kids that worked at CVGN or whatever it was called at U of M Dearborn. Yeah. As a joke, we're like, you're old. Here's a VCR. And it was a decoration in my office for a long time. And then I was like, wait. I have copies of the Star Wars movies that only exist on VHS. I should keep this. And I have kept it to this day. And I pulled out of the storage unit once a year to watch Star Wars. Yeah, that's what's up. You want to guess what other movie I have on VHS? Twister, of course. Bingo. Of course. That's why I like, it feels like I, eh, maybe one, maybe one day I'll get a VHS. I mean, you could get one from Goodwill. That's easy. But the other thing. So I'm not sure if this has survived every move, but it's definitely from, so this, like I've had this since my childhood home, like the house I was born in. How many houses did you live in when you were growing up? Only two. 
So you guys only you didn't have too many moves as a kid. Yeah. So that's why, like, this one is. I I didn't have a ton of moves. I've m- moved more recently than anything. Oh my gosh, dude, we're almost done. Uh, but the other thing, which I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rack and re-roll. Um, keep going. We'll be all right. No? All right. So the other thing, which is arguably more special, is the license plate from my first car. That big SUV. Yeah. Shout out. You love that. You love that thing, dude. I absolutely loved my car. Shout out Black Beauty, my 2008 GMC Envoy. Actually, I ask you up real hard, please. One of my favorite videos that you've ever made was your goodbye video for that car. Please put a link in the description to that video. I of course will. That was that like video is genuinely moving, and I hate that you made it because it makes me think of you as an artist, <laughs> <laughs> and that aggravates me. I, <laughs> I really want to like, and actually, I think I might like. I want it to go like right here, on this wall, but it look it looks so shitty. But no, it this... looks amazing. You know, you know what you should do. And this would, this would enhance another bit. Um, get it beautifully framed and put it right next to your shitty diploma <laughs> tape to the wall. I still, I still don't have that framed. It still has the sticky note that says "Get a frame?" Question mark. Oh, yeah. Keep it. No, but like, get get like a like build a beautiful shadow box for that license plate. Oh my god, dude, that'd be incredible. I might. Do you have I might any other send... artifacts from the car? Like, do you have the keys? No, because when the I, license plate. When I when I moved. Um... Yeah, I don't know how I got this. My dad or my sibling or my brothers must have gave it to me. But when I moved, um, like I I said my whole goodbye and everything. I mean, I have the CDs that I like kept in there, but like nothing else. You have the what? I have like the the compact discs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is my uh Oh, I love it. I miss hey, this. You want, a, you want a craft idea? Yes. Mount that on a piece of wood that's like two inches taller than that, and then put hooks, and that can be where you hang your keys. Ooh. We are trying to do something with the with the entrance. That might be neat. That might be the move. Because I'm another I'm, idea that I had, this is another thought, and I'm only thinking this because I have an unused frame that would be perfect for this very idea. Get a long frame, put the license plate, and then like a picture of you with Black Beauty in the frame. I like, I want to do something because I like, I, the way you, I think about the Astro Van, like the, when, when you were, ta- when you were telling oh, the story. Oh, my boy Pat's van with the when, N64. When you were talking about your, the, the, the experience you had with the Astro Van, I'm like, man. Unmatched that, transit. That was my, that was, that was Black Beauty. That was my steed. I, like, I have a, I have a VHS over there that is Black Beauty. <laughs> and I've never, never seen the movie, never anything. Like but I horse, was like, like the horse movie. Yeah. But I was like, Damn. I have to have this in memory. Put that in the frame with the license plate. <laughs> a picture of me, a VHS and a, and a license plate. So that's what I brought. That's amazing. We had uh, my grandpa. I was just pulling a picture over here. My uh, my great grandpa, uh, William DeGenero, had a classic car. Uh, this is my dad's grandpa. He had that. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know shit about it. It's a car. It was red. They called it the Red Rocket. Yeah. Um, and uh, my dad, you know, he got it. You know, my grandpa inherited it when my great grandpa passed. My great grand. My grandpa was like. You know, get rid of it. So yeah. my dad took it, and um, it immediately became too much to deal with. So they sold it, you know. But they kept the license plate. They kept the keys, and my mom made a really cool shadow box with the license plate, the keys, and a couple pictures. I wish I would have kept the with keys. the car stuff like that. See, if I had the spare set of keys, but my mom took them, 
My mom grounded me one day from the key from from the car. She's like, "You can't drive the car." So she took the cool. spare keys, but I had the I had the main set of keys, and so I was like, "Oh man!" And then I th- and then I think they just got lost. So I never. If I could have, if I could have the spare keys, that'd be sick. But yeah, my buddy Ambrose. You don't. They're my, gone now, forever. R.I.P. Rest, rest in peace, Black Beauty. Rest in pieces, probably. It's probably scrapped. I'm pouring. Oh dang! It's in shot. That would have been so good if I just was like, <laughs> if you didn't see the cut. Um. Dude, so wait, so we're about to, so it's about to kick us out. Yeah, I can't, I can do, fa- I can do five minutes. I can't do two. I was going to say that's, that's too fast. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. Should, should we cut? Let's just editor talk.